Well, it is exhilarating to be able to start putting some siding on this house and getting things closed up and being 100% officially in the dry. Although technically it kind of is, but it's just nice to have a finished, nice, crisp, white, clean look to it. But as I've been putting this metal siding on here, I am putting up these last final pieces of OSB board here to close everything up and tie everything together and i've been having a lot of questions is this a barn dominium because i'm putting metal siding on it's a great question what makes a barn dominium technically a barn dominium is a house or structure that is a post beam type structure that has large usually six by six posts and usually it's more of an open uh open concept rectangular structure um just because you put metal siding on the side of a house does not make it a barn dominium it may look cool but that, by definition, not a barn dominium. So no, although it looks cool and it has metal siding on it, this is not a barn dominium, the way I framed it. So basically, it's the way you frame it. And if you do a traditional stick frame, which is what I did here, it's not classified as a barn dominium. But if you want to call it that, sure, go ahead. But it's not. It's a house. And I'm just putting metal siding on it because I like metal siding. It looks nice, crisp, and clean, easy to put up, and will last. You know, it gets a 25-year paint warranty and an under 25-year metal warranty. So as long as you take care of it, it lasts forever. So that's pretty cool in itself there but anyways i'm finally getting these 20 foot pieces of siding up i was able to get the couple first ones by myself because i wanted to prove that i could do it by myself but it was fun <laughs> it was a lot of excitement um and so my friend of mine from church here all samuel has been helping me out and he wanted to learn to put some metal siding up so i'm like hey perfect timing it's a lot easier with four hands instead of two hands and this uh friend of mine val Another friend of mine from church allowed me to use this scaffolding which made things 10 times easier although it is sketchy it does work, and don't worry, I put a couple screws into the side there, so it ain't going nowhere. And yes, that ladder is screwed in at the top. I know everybody's worried about the ladder falling off, but don't worry. If it's falling, the whole thing's going, the house has to go with this. So it's as safe as possible, but at the same time, it allows me to get all the work done, because my extension ladder is at its length there. It cannot go any farther. But it only took about... Uh, about two or three days worth of time to put all this metal siding up. Went up pretty quickly. Um, it was over the course of like a week, though, working a couple hours here or there. And whenever I had free time to get them, a couple pieces up. And as you can tell, at the very peak there, I'm putting in the soffit at the same time. The way I have to come back over and reassemble this uh, scaffolding because it is kind of a pain to get all those pieces up there and assemble together. So I'm just doing everything all at once so it can just be done and have the scout or the uh, soffit done the fascia done the siding done the trim around the windows everything just done all at once and so when i finish this side it is finished except for the trim for the corner pieces but those are real simple to put up and i can do that off a ladder so not a big deal but we are finally getting some metal siding up and it is nice to have the proper tools for the proper job and look at that cuts it like butter here's more 20 foot pieces on the other side i've been slapping up there and the end is near don't forget to like and subscribe that way you can see how the rest of this build process is going and we're almost to our 100 day mark